All right, guys. I don't know how good this is going to show up. All right, guys. I don't know how good this is going to show up, but this is what the 50 Beowulf did to my arm. It, it literally felt like my arm was bleeding um, while I was shooting it, and I never looked until the end, and I just kind of, you know, didn't pay attention. I pulled up my sleeve, and that right there is what I was looking at. War wounds. <laughs> this is H4T, guys, and I'm out. I'm going to clean the Beowulf. figured I'd turn the camera on and let you guys uh, watch me clean it. And you're also going to get a chance to see how big the bolt is in relation to something like, say, an AR-15. Because this is built on the same platform. But obviously, for the 50, uh, it's a bigger bolt. And I'll let you guys see that as I take this apart to clean it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and pop out the magazine and clear the gun. Okay, no rounds. We're good. I'm going to separate the upper from the lower and just get it out of the way so it'll be easier to do. Okay. So there we go. Here's the lower. And I'll be able to go over this more too as I clean it. I'll show you guys some better detail when I clean it. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and pull the bolt and the charging handle out of the rifle. Okay, here's the kind of bolt we're dealing with. Sorry guys, my AR-15s are in storage, so I don't have any here with me at the moment to compare. But I can assure you, this bolt is quite a bit different than the uh, regular AR-15 bolt. And it's really dry. Uh, I, ha I had one malfunction, guys, when I was out there shooting that day on the 4th of July. But I say that, th that it's my fault because... Um, the whole week before I went shooting, I told myself, kept reminding myself that you have to oil this. When I bought it, it was completely bone dry, and I forgot to oil this. And then when I went that evening to go shooting on the 4th of July, I hurried up and packed this up, and as you can see, it is bone dry. Let me get it to focus in here. Okay, there we go. So, I mean, there's no residue whatsoever. So that was my fault. The malfunction was my fault. And I'm not going to blame the rifle at all. The rifle still performed fine other than that one time. So I'm going to give this a nice ballastol treatment and possibly go ahead and also put some oil on it as well. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take the bolt apart for you. It's basically the same thing as an AR-15, guys, to take this down. I do have some duct tape on the jaws of my pliers there, you know, to make it easier on any parts that it might come in contact with. So, I'm going to pull out that cotter pin there, lay it aside, and then I'm going to push the bolt in. Firing pin dropped free. Here's the firing pin. There's some dirt in there, and I'm going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, almost forgot, got to pull this out. There we go, sorry guys. Okay. There is that. I'm going to go ahead and remove the bolt out of there. So this is what the 50 Beowulf bolt looks like. Okay. 
and I'm going to get ready to get some items out, start to scrub everything down. Alright guys, like I pretty much always do, I'm going to go ahead and take some ballastol, and uh, this is really good stuff for something like this. It's got a lot of carbon buildup. It cuts through it very quick. Um, you know, there's other products that work, but Ballastol really seems to cut through quick, so I'm going to use a little straw that comes with it so I can get up in here. And what I want to do, basically, is I want to let this sit, you know, with the ballastol in the barrel. And, uh, you know, let it soak for a little while, while I go ahead and clean some other parts off. Right, I'm going to start with the bolt. I'm going to go ahead and spray it down with some ballastol. And then I'm just going to take another take another rag and go ahead and get on there and see if I can get all that build up out. See there's a little ring of build up right there and I'm going to scrub on that and uh, see what I can possibly do to get that off there but one way or the other I'll get it. Okay guys I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning this up and then I'll turn the camera back on. Alright I've cleaned the carrier and the bolt, firing pin and these pieces and parts. Got them pretty clean. Now I'm going to go ahead and this barrel's been sitting for a while. I'm going to go ahead and first I'm going to start with a patch and I'm going to go through first with a patch to see how much is on the patch and then if I need to, which I probably will, then I'll go to the brass brush. I almost cut that one big enough, didn't I? Not quite, though. And now this here, this is your muzzle device down here. The barrel actually ends uh, right here, yeah, right about, actually right about there is where the barrel ends. So, this is tight coming back through, but it's what you want. Uh, there we go. And the cotton material is never going to hurt your barrel, so if it's tight, that's okay. So, I'm going to take a look up through the barrel light and see what I got going. Yeah, it's actually pretty clean in there just that one time. I forgot to take the charging handle out. Don't know where my mind was there. There's the charging handle. Gonna wipe over that. The barrel is actually really clean. Maybe I can get you guys a shot down it. Um, probably because I didn't fire that many rounds that day. About 30 maybe. Maybe you can see down there, I don't know. There you go. It's pretty clean down in there. So yeah, now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, scrub this area in here, in the upper. I'm going to go over the inside of this and get everything clean and dry in here. And then I'll let you, I'll get turn the camera back on and let you guys see what I'm going to do next. Alright guys, now what I'm going to do is you can do this with your uh, standard AR-15s as well. You know, like I said, this 50 is on the same platform as an AR-15. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this Militech synthetic metal conditioner grease and uh, I'm just going to get some on the, on the glove there. I'm looking through the viewfinder and I know that's way too much. I'll wipe a little bit of that off. Um, uh, you just want to put this on the on the parts that contact the other parts. I'm just going to put some right here. Now, I will be wiping off any of the excess. You don't need a ton of this. You don't want it to collect any dirt. 
okay? But only on the parts that are going to connect with the other metal parts is where you need it. You don't need it in these grooves, just on these rails. Same thing with your AR-15s. You'll see the wear too, where you need to put it. Right where there's wear. Now I will go ahead and put a light coating all the way back to here on the whole thing and then wipe off the excess. The grease is a good thing. You don't have to have this. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of guys that tell me that they do not use this. But it doesn't hurt. Like I said, any of the excess though, you want to wipe off. You know, you want a thin film on the rails where it's going to ride. But any like heavy excess or if you got it on other parts you can go ahead and wipe that off because you don't really need it there. Okay now what I'm going to do is take a little bit more grease my finger and thumb there and then what I'm going to do is take it and I'm going to rub it around the uh, locking lugs on the bolt here And once again, I will wipe off the excess. Okay, which that's not too bad right there, but probably a little bit excess there. Okay. You don't want it on the front face here. You don't need it there. Just a little bit around these locking lugs. Okay. I'm going to take a light coating of oil. And I'm going to put it back here around on the bolt. I'm going to wipe off any of the excess. I just want there to be a coating of oil here on it. And any of the excess, I'll take a, um, a dry rag and get that off of there. Can't hurt. It's only going to help you out. So, my advice is to go ahead and put some on. And then go back over with the rag, wipe off your excess, and you'll be good to go with that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the bolt back together. Okay, I've got her lined up. Okay, what is the main hold up here? Must not have had it lined up perfectly right. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and drop the firing pin in. Go ahead and put your cotter pin back in there. This is actually a pretty strong cotter pin. Hang on. Okay, there we go. I couldn't grip this uh, cotter pin right with the glove on. It's actually a really stiff, uh, stiff uh, arms on it there. There we go. It is in good working order.
Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and install the charging handle and the bolt assembly. First you want to put in your charging handle. Get it started in there, down here, and then lift up. It'll find its way in. There you go. It'll lock in once it hits the groove. Push it forward about that far. Uh, see how this bolt moves back and forth like this? Pull this out and do this on your AR-15s as well. Get it started in there. Push them on home. Lock it in. That's all you got to do. All right, now the upper is complete. It's lubed. I got some grease on the rails. It's ready to go. It's ready to rock and roll. So now let's take a look at the lower. This lower is actually really clean. Haven't done anything to it yet. I'm probably just going to take a rag and wipe over it with some ballastol cleaner. And then we'll go ahead and get it back together. Yeah, there's not a lot of dirt on this, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and finish wiping it off. And then I'll show you the gun as I put the lower on. And we'll look at, we'll look at how, what it looks like when it's complete. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and install the lower and the upper back together. And there it is. I'm going to do is I'm going to run it back and forth a little bit, let the grease or the oil on the rails take hold. So much smoother now. You guys wouldn't even believe how dry the bolt was and everything in this rifle when I bought it and I took it out to the range without putting a drop of oil on it. And I actually think it ran good. It was my fault for not oiling the bolt like I should have. Got in a hurry and forgot so you know make sure you take care of your stuff and don't do what I did but it's it's a world of difference right now it just feels so much different now it's like night and day and that was a problem me not having enough oil me not having any oil or grease on the bolt at all don't do that don't run your guns dry all right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more stuff like this, let me know. Got some more shooting coming up for you real soon. All right, everyone, this is Humans for Targets, and I'm out of here.